what y'all doing out there in TV land, man. If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. We do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. We do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> You know, and um, they're, they're, they're resisting change, you know. Um, they're resisting for America and for the world to be different. And they're fighting. They're fighting against that, you know. Some people try to trivialize it um, and, and they try to come across and say, yo, Donald Trump is good for us because he's going to financially help the country. Um, you know, and things like that. And um, he's going to help us keep taxes down. He's going to keep the, the cost of oil down. Um, so they're, they're using those capitalist kind of um, things to defend all of the other hatred and all of the other bad things that he stands for. You know, yes, I want to be in a financially good place. Yes, I want cheaper oil and heating fuel. Yes, you know, I want taxes to be good. Yes, I want the economy to thrive, but um, not at the detriment of being behind, you know, or being under the rule of a racist dictator. You know, I'm not willing to to pay that price for that benefit. You know, it's like make America great again. You know, it depends on who you're talking to. You know, for, for the African American in America, for the African, for the um the the you know the original blacks that have been here for all the minorities, America has never been a great place. You know, um people come here and you know they're here for the land of opportunity and freedom, but we we the black people have never known America to be somewhere that we've been free in. You know, we've never known this as a great place. I mean, historically, if you're looking at it, we got dealt you know, uh, excuse me, I don't even know. I don't want the algorithm to get you, but we've been dealt the doodle card from the beginning, you know, from the time we arrived here, you know, so make America great again. Just even saying that is like, you know, it's like a spit, spit in the face of, of the, um, you know, the, the black Americans, the African Americans, the foundational black Americans and all that. So, Without getting too crazy, man, we got to be careful, man. Um, and we got to look at that and understand, yo, inside that insurrection, there was people, you know, that are openly clan men, you know, clan members that was there. You know, they're Confederate flag people. We got to see what that is, man. That's not just merely Americans just fighting for their right. There's the rights, there's a lot of other underlying stuff going in there. And um, it's scary when the guy who's in control of everything or who's been appointed to run all this stuff, when he's the one that's rallying those people, that's yeah. the, you know, so that's very serious, you know? And and um, I'm gonna say this and then I'm done with this. So um, we gotta look at it and say, wow, you know, the roots of those people go very deep. You know, the roots of those people are in law enforcement. Law enforcement in this country was created out of some racist stuff to begin with. You know what I mean? They was created to round up slaves and stuff like that. So law enforcement is never... Exactly. Officer, officer, overseer. You get overseer from officer, right? KRS said it. Yes. It's like... um. We, we, we got to realize, man, that, yo, when you're talking to a black person or a minority or a person of color or whatever, and I'm not trying to make it a race thing, we have different views of what America is. Um, uh -oh, someone might see a police officer and they might see a hero, you know, but then you ask another person when they see that figure, what do they see? And they see two very different things. When someone hears of let's make America great again, you know what I mean? That might mean something completely different than what it means to someone else. And that that um, ascension or dissension on the Capitol, whew, that was deep, man. You know, there was a lot of underlying stuff going on. Like law enforcement allowed that to happen. Mm-hmm. 
the, the, the Donald Trump called that and he rallied those guys up. Law enforcement fell back. Police were murdered. Other people were murdered. You know, and people are getting misdemeanors and stuff. You know what I mean? Black lives matter. They 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 get together and it's bombs and tear gas. You know what I mean? It's 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 different. You know, so I'm gonna say that and I'm gonna shut up. Yeah. Um you know I mean? yeah. I'm sorry, man. No, 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 no. I love it. You did you listen, this Ooh. platform is for you to speak for everybody Ooh. that comes on here. Please speak. I just want to add on if it's anybody's probably misinformed of what's going on or probably still need more information, please check out 13th Amendment on Netflix. You can Woo! check that out. You can Woo! look at um, you can also read The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander, and you can also okay. check out Nate Parker's new film, American Skin. Check that out. Okay. All right. And so I just want to say these are my views. These are my views. <laughs> This is this is how I see things. Um, I, you know, I'm not. This is not representative of demigods. This is not representative of army of the pharaohs. This is just my personal opinion and and how I see things. And you know, I don't want that to reflect on anybody because you know I love my brothers. Whether they see it like this, they don't see it like that. I can still love you, yeah. and I can still understand you. You know, if you stand at a, you know, I can agree to disagree with anyone, mm -hmm. and it's just, you know, um, especially in in discussion and talks, you know, I don't have to hate you. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to fight you. You know, it, it doesn't even have to be that deep. You know, um, you know, I don't want to see people get killed, whether they believe in make America great again or they believe on my side, you know, or whatever. You know, it, it's not that deep for me. You know, that the the um the what I want to see is I want to see us really be able to get it together and, and to function together and to all be treated right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to see. You know.